Question number three. When methane is burned with oxygen, the products are carbon dioxide and water. We produce 18 grams of water from 8 grams of methane and 32 grams of oxygen. How many grams of carbon dioxide were produced in the reaction? So first, let's write out the formula for methane. So if we try to analyze the word methane, it has the prefix of meth which tells us that there is only one carbon. And even the fact that it ends in ane tells us that there is a single bond. But since there's only one carbon, we can already kind of assume there's only single bonds. Uh, so therefore, the chemical formula of methane is CH4. And methane reacts with oxygen gas, which is in its diatomic state, so it's O2. And this produces carbon dioxide and water. Okay, so now we need to balance out this uh, reaction. We have one carbon on both our products and reactant side. But on our product side, we only have two uh, atoms of hydrogen. But on our reactant side, we have four. So I'm just going to put a coefficient of two in front of my water. And now we have our hydrogens that are balanced and four oxygens on our product side and only two oxygens on our reactant side. So I'm also just going to put a two in front of our oxygen. So now we have our balanced equation. And they give us the following grams of methane So we started off with 8 grams of methane, and we have 32 grams of oxygen. And they also told us that we produced 18 grams of water. So this question actually gives us more information that we needed. So typically we would find out the number of moles of both of our methane and oxygen and do a whole bunch of different steps to try to find out which one was the limiting reagent. And then from there, find out how much product was formed. But luckily for us, uh, they gave us the mass of water that was formed, which was 18 grams. So all we need to do is find the number of moles of water uh, in 18 grams, and then relate that to find the number of moles of carbon dioxide, and then we can convert that to grams. So again, just to sum it up, step one is to find the number of moles of water. So we know the mass is 18 grams, and we just need to first find the molar mass of water, which is equal to 2 times the molar mass of hydrogen plus the molar mass of oxygen. So these values are found on your periodic table. It's 1.01 grams per mole for hydrogen and around 15.99 grams per mole or oxygen. So this gives us a molar mass of around 18.02 grams per mole. So now to find for to find the number of moles, it's just going to be the mass over molar mass. So the mass of water is given in the question 18 grams. 
the molar mass is what we just found to be 18.02 grams per mole. And now if we divide this, we get the number of moles of water equal to around 0 0.999 moles. Okay, so step two is to now find the number of moles of carbon dioxide using mole ratios. So we know that the number of moles of water that was formed in this reaction was 0 0.999. And if we multiply this by the ratio where one mole of carbon dioxide is formed and two moles of water is formed in this reaction as well, then we just need to divide our number of moles of water by two. And we know we did it correctly if you see that our units for the moles of water cancel out and we're left with moles of CO2, and you get 0 0.499 moles of CO2. And now step three is to find the mass of CO2 So if we rearrange this equation, where number of moles is equal to mass over molar mass, we can find mass by multiplying number of moles by the molar mass of carbon dioxide. So the number of moles we found in our previous step, 0 0.499 moles of CO2, and the molar mass of CO2 is around 44 grams per mole, and we get a mass of 21.98 grams. So this is our final answer. Okay, so the junior tutor said, uh, let us first write the balanced chemical equation. Methane is a compound with a chemical formula of CH4. And they wrote out water, carbon dioxide, and oxygen. And then they balanced their equation and put the coefficients of 2 in front of oxygen and water. So now they want to... Okay, so this is what I mean about how they added some additional information. So these steps aren't really needed because, as you can see, we are able to find the mass of CO2 just by using the mass of water. But still, this is how you would do it if you want to do it the long way and get all your steps in. Um, given the mass of methane and its molar mass, you can find the number of moles of CH4. You can do the same thing for oxygen. Calculate the number of moles of water, which they did as well. They got one. Use the mole ratio of oxygen and carbon dioxide to get the number of moles of carbon dioxide. A. And then calculate the mass of carbon dioxide produced. So notice that they found the number of moles of both oxygen and methane, but they didn't even really use it in their final answer. They just ended up using the number of moles of water in the end. But they still ended up with the same answer of 22 grams of carbon dioxide. So the solution is correct. Since we know the mass 
of water produced, we don't have to find the number of moles of CH4 and O2. If we were not given the mass of water, then those values would be useful. And we can determine the limiting reagent as well, and etc. Add some spelling mistakes. Yep. Let me just put this in brackets. But this solution is still correct.